Well, the Knoxville Fire Department responded to a carbon monoxide leak at a Sam's Club in East Knoxville this morning, sending several people to the hospital. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales joins us at the Sam's Club. And Ella, we know crews deem the building safe. Are they going to reopen? Allison, so this Sam's Club is actually going to be closed for the rest of the day as a precaution, though the fire department did deem it as safe to re-enter the building. However, it is reported that the employees will be paid for a full day of work. But I do want to talk a little bit about what led to this situation. The Knoxville Fire Department responded to the Sam's Club East after getting reports of about six people becoming sick inside the building. When they arrived, they discovered several workers had begun feeling nauseous um, over the previous hour and were showing signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. They ended up identifying nine people who needed further medical evaluation, and those people were taken to the hospital. KFD and KUB were able to determine the cause of the leak. Take a listen. Uh, what we determined was we had a high level of CO in the center of the building. Uh, what that really meant to us was we probably had some type of natural gas leak or a heating and air unit that was malfunctioning. Um, we have determined that there is a heating and air unit that had recently been worked on on the roof of the building uh, that was malfunctioning. Right now what we're doing is airing the building out. That unit's been turned off. So as we mentioned, this Sam's is going to remain closed for the rest of the day. So if you do need to get your groceries, you may want to head to the one on in West Knoxville off of Kingston Pike. In Knoxville, Ella Wales, WATE, six on your side. All right, thank you, Ella. We did reach out to Sam's Club, and they say they will continue working with local authorities and are focusing on the well-being of their associates.